So let's take a look at how you can be more productive in Windows 11 without installing any more apps. So to do this, we're just gonna go ahead and go to the clock application. And we have here what we call focus sessions. And this is just like the Pomodoro technique where you can do, for example, 30 minutes of work, take a five minute break, 30 minutes of work, repeat that, and to really allow you to have that focus time to do work. And what's really interesting about this is it puts you into the do not disturb mode, so you're not gonna get a bunch of notifications. But we'll talk through that as we go. So first up, we have that ability to change what is the amount of time we wanna do for our focus session, which of course we could go ahead and start at any time. On the right hand side, we have our daily progress. So you can track the amount of focus time that you've done throughout your day. You can see right now we have a daily goal of one hour and I've completed a whole four minutes of that, but you can go ahead and change that. If you hit the edit icon up here, you can change your daily goal from one hour all the way up. The other thing you can do here is you can also sign in to your to-do application, Microsoft to-do, and you can see all of your different tasks. So for example, if I go ahead and navigate to Microsoft to-do, you'll see that I have submit expenses and build cool YouTube videos, and I can see the same tasks here right within the clock application. The other thing you can do is you can enhance your focus session, as they say here, by signing in to your Spotify account. I'm not going to show that in this video, but you can do it. So when you're ready, all you need to do then is just select, for example, what tasks you want, or you can select no tasks. You can just do a focus time and you can manage your task list in your own way. But what I'm going to do here is we're not going to do submit expenses. We're going to do build cool YouTube videos. So I can select that and then I can hit my start focus session. At this point, I can't actually interact with submit expenses because I'm not working on that within the session, but I could go ahead and close it, build cool YouTube videos if I want. But that's not all we can do right here. Let's go have a look at some of the settings that we can change and how we can modify some of our interactions. But before showing you that, I do wanna show you that the do not disturb mode is on right now. And this is the power of focus sessions. So if we head down to settings, you can change a few things from your focus period. Do you want this to be 15, 30 minutes, so on and so forth? How long do you want your break for? And then there's just some things that you can change on. Do you want end session signs? Do you even want to show the Spotify experience? Do you want to have the Microsoft to do? But the other thing I think that's really interesting here is that we can go into our change notification settings. And because this is using do not disturb, this is using the same notification section if you were just to enable this in your own time. So you can do some interesting things like set notification priorities here. So you can choose what applications could show notifications when you're in do not disturb and all sorts of other different settings to really hone in what a focus session means for you. But what you can also do from here is you can go down to focus and this allows you if you were actually not in a focus session to change things like we saw earlier. Do we wanna show the timer in the clock app? Do we wanna hide badges, flashing taskbars, so on and so forth. But what you can also see from here is that you have the ability to stop the focus session. And this is going to interact with the clock as we can see here. So if I jump back to the clock now, we can go back to focus sessions. We can see that our focus session has been ended and I now have six minutes of my completed daily goal. Well, that's really all there is to focus sessions. I hope you can get some productivity out of this, but I've really been enjoying it. We'll see you in the next one.